uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so we have already created this uh, basic landing page this is how it look like and uh, this is our code where we are writing all the components so we have already seen the, the code organization for the landing page like uh, if you see the landing page there is a hero component advertisement and the footer right and then the hero component is all about uh, the header part and uh, the banner and the feature segments right so here we are just moving to all these organism this is hero header in the hero header we had all this uh, the top bar navigation right and then we had the image and then the, there is a feature component and feature component is nothing but a feature list of these three different features okay so the basic ui is there we'll just keep cleaning up and doing all these things now what we want is when you click on the login we should be able to open the drawer from the right side so that we can enter the email password if you want to do, do the sign up so there is a drawer navigation component already available what we have done is we already have two components which is a login drawer and the registration drawer right so initially we will just show this button because this header component i will come to this here we are importing after logo this is a login drawer and this is a registration drawer so whenever you launch these components we would be able to see this particular button now when you click on to this button then we will actually open the drawer from the right hand side and we will render the list component inside it okay same thing you will see on the registration drawer when you click on to the registration drawer what will happen is it will also open the drawer from the right hand side right there is a the button and then there is a registration drawer it will open the drawer from the right hand side what i did is i just created a basic html form with the two fields which one is an email and another is a password okay we have these hooks youth state hooks email password right this is very basic and the values on these both the text fields will be uh, the the email and the password so let's assign the value so whatever you are typing that will appear here and here the value will be email okay and then there is a button uh, which is handle submit the handle submit will actually capture the value of whatever you have entered in the email and password like basic html form using react where you are capturing the email and password the important part here is the firebase integration right so how we do it that is the important part so for the firebase first you need to have a firebase config what all firebase config will contains uh, i mean your uh, the keys secrets and all so first we will create that in the source there is let's create a firebase.js so here we can create a folder itself firebase and in this firebase we will create a firebase.js okay and here you will import the firebase things we have already seen this thing uh, of uh, using firebase in the view the views yes so it's kind of similar we are importing firebase and uh, importing the firebase oath so here firebase auth and then we have the const firebase config which will contain all your configurations okay api key auth domain and all these things and then what you will do is firebase dot initialize there is a method firebase dot initialize app that will take your firebase config okay and after that you can actually get the authentications and the fire store and all these things i just need auth from this we can also export this because we are going to use this auth everywhere export const auth equal to firebase.auth 
Okay, so this is pretty much our five ways config will contain, and we will just initialize this. So here we will pass all our params. I mean, we will just get it from the Firebase, and we will import all these things together. Right now, this auth can be imported in our sign in or the the sign up like login draw drawer or the registration drawer, and uh, we can actually do the integration with the Firebase. So what actually we need is we need this auth thing from in the component. So we'll go to the the drawer and here we will import the auth. Import auth from. Let's see. And here we have Firebase, so we got the auth now. We have this method handle submit. We already have the email and password here, right? So to for the sign in with email and password, there is a straightforward method. Auth dot sign in with email and password. We already have the values of email and password, so we can also have the error, which will just set the error values. okay so this is pretty much on the sign in right if you successfully able to sign in then what we need to create is the the parent context above it because what we want is we want to populate the user information whenever you are able to do, do the sign in right so what we will do is we'll create a parent context and in that context we will hold the value of user object whenever you are able to do the sign in right so we will create a provider you can call it as a simple user provider so that will be you can say a higher order component okay so we will import the context export const we are going to use uh, the react context here you can do a create context which we need to import from react Now I can create context and I can pass the initial user object as null. Okay, now I can actually create a provider. This provider I will pass in the context. So I'm just creating like a parent component for everything. I can just uh, copy this. I already have created this one. What this thing contains, okay. So in Vue.js also I talked about this auth change event that will give us the, the current state of the user whenever you do the sign in or sign up or the login logout. So this is our user context and what we are providing we are providing the user value in the provider and now we can actually put this user context on top of our components so that we just need to write a consumer and we should be able to access the user object there okay. So we are just getting user auth and uh, we just generate the user object from there Then we will set the state. So once the state is set, we actually passing this context with the updated value of user and all the children will receive the, the user value. So this you can say uh, is like a parent provider we have created. Now in the child component, we just need to create uh, the consumers. Okay. So similarly, you can also do the sign up. Sign up is also the some same thing like email, password, repeat password. These are three, three text fields. Okay. So let's close this in the, the next video with the Firebase. I will also extract out the Firebase configurations meanwhile.